this is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. And the scene below, all of all it is is just a bunch of arcs that look alike. Boring. Not oh yeah, make the scene more fun. Now that you know how to random things like position angle, but don't forget things like fill color, stroke weight, have fun. Oh, okay. So they just want us to use randomize. So here we are, random number. And I'm gonna start dropping it places. Here, here, and that was originally 90, so I'm gonna do 25 to 180. And here I'll do 90 to 350, not 360. <laughs> and this is already fun. You can see the impact it's having. What would be cool as well is we can use variables so we don't have to fill in random numbers so many times. And I'm just going to have, I'll say three. And then math, random here, random here, random here. Now, some of these I'm going to go between like five and 255 because I'll also use that for a color. Zoop, zoop. Five and 255. And this will be zero to three sixty. And then I'm just gonna say num one, num two, and because now we can use these all over the place, num three, and they won't be it won't seem the same because if I use one for X, right, or arcs, and if I use one for X and then one for Y over here, it doesn't look like I'm using the same numbers. It still seems pretty darn random number one right maybe i use it over here for the width number one's going to go there and maybe i use it down here for the height num one and i could even use it for the start right num one and now let's use num two places num two and again that's just going to be the random number that pops up num two now i also have this for the 360 for the whole angle. So I can use num3 for the whole angle. Num3, num3. I could also use num3 for y because y goes up to 450. So maybe I'll use it there. Let's see. Boom. And now we got a whole lot of stuff happening all of a sudden. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let's have uh, this one be it's num2. Let's do num3. Give it more space there for x and for y and yeah i'm liking that okay so now let's do color uh stroke color is the outline and like i said we can randomize it so we can use our num3 here num3 and then oh num3 might go past max that's okay whatever num2 num1 and the cool thing about this is we can also then do in a color for the ellipse. So a fill color still using those, but if we use them in a different order, it will be a different color. So instead of I'll do num one first now, num two, and then num three. Let's see. And we can even go crazier by doing, let's do a fill down here. And I'm going to do RGB. And this time I'm going to do num2, num3 in the middle, and num1. Let's also mess with the weight. So stroke weight right here. And then I'm going to do a different one down here, I'll say. And then we can go to random because I don't want it to be 350 for a weight. And zoom, zoom. <laughs> Oh, I love this. But uh it's really useful to know how to make uh different shapes with random with randomization. Let's keep going.